is and if you connect it in series and it has a resistance then that resistance will change the color and that's why you will get an error in measurement you remember all this yes. so i told you that for a better measurement the emitter should have yes, should have less yes, color yes, resistance okay or not emitter should have yes. less resistance so I think this is the example which we were talking about, correct? So it's not possible to make an instrument with a very less resistance. So we do or we play a clever trick here. Then tell you. Suppose this is some instrument which has resistance, let's say 90 volt, like we were talking about. Then to decrease the resistance, what we can do is if we connect a small resistance in parallel, then every every problem gets solved. So typically, okay, typically an ammeter is made as follows, right? Here. An ammeter is made by a galvanometer connected with a small resistance. It is called shunt. An emitter is made by a galvanometer connected with a small resistance shunt in parallel. Now, roughly speaking, the word shunt means two parallel tracks. Shunt means something related to two parallel tracks. When you know engines go back and forth, usually you know, if you go to the station, sometimes an engine comes in this direction, then goes towards that side and then it returns in the opposite direction. Have you seen that ever? Yes. Like engines are turned on the point, okay, I hope you get what I'm saying. So what happens is there are two parallel tracks, arm then, arm then, you get sorry, you move it. Right? So that's the whole idea about short. Something in parallel, that's called short. So, what does this look like? So suppose there is a galvanometer and you connect a shunt in parallel. This is a small resistance S, G for galvanometer. Understood? Now doing this, connecting something in parallel immediately solves a lot of problems. Why? Suppose this resistance is small, like here I have shown it. Suppose this S is only one ohm, small resistance, that is one ohm, small. Is it okay or not okay? So our equivalent can do that. This is 90 and that is 1. What is their equivalent of 90 and 1 for a point? What is the equivalent of 90 and 1? 90 by 91. 90 by 91. 90 by 91. Combined resistance of this is now only 90 by 91, which is close to 1. Yes or no? Yes. In fact, less than 1. Not even one. It will be less, less than one. Is that fine? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. So, do you see? Even though we have connected an ammeter or something to measure, still it only increases the resistance by one. Ano hai to ten ohm. Ane ano hai to eleven. You understand what I say? Yes. Without this, I mean, without anything, theoretically the resistance is total 10 ohm, correct or not, in this circuit. Our equivalent is, you remember what we were talking about in the morning, that if you just calculate it, don't worry about measuring. If you just calculate it 10 volt, 10 ohm, 1 ampere current should flow, correct? Yes. But if you connect only ammeter and this has only one galvanometer and this has less than 90 ohm, then the error will be big. Fine, the error will be big. So, to Reduce the resistance if we connect something in parallel. For example, this one ohm resistance. Then the equivalent of these two becomes only one. So how much extra have you added now? Ten was there. 
And now we have added extra 90? No, only 1. So error rounds it. But error will be very small. Make sense? It will be actually like i is equal to 10 upon 10 plus nearly 1 instead of 90. You see the difference? Instead of 90, it will be nearly plus 1. So how much error would be there? A small error. This is 10 by 11, which is like 0 0.9. Much better than earlier, isn't it? Aya 90 logo though. 0 0.1 of 90% error. Aya 1 logo though. 0.9 only 10%. Much, much better. Understood? So what happens when we connect a small resistance in parallel? The resistance will decrease. So even if you connect this instrument, even if you connect this instrument, its resistance will not affect that much. So error will be there, but the error will be small. Idea is clear? Sure. So to make a good ammeter, what should you do? You should connect some shunt in parallel. Now why the galvanometer? Because galvanometer is a basic device that responds to current and it can measure it. How galvanometer works? Chapter 4. Understood? We will study about how a galvanometer works at the end of chapter 4. Right now, we are just going to say that galvanometer can detect or measure some small current only. For example, typical galvanometers have markings like this. For example, this is 0, 1 microampere, 2 microampere, if they have only 1 microampere, 2 microampere. So, galvanometer can only measure a very small current. How much? 0 to 2 microamp. But suppose you want to pass 1 ampere current though. So, galvanometer is not like that. Do you get what I am saying? So, what we can do is we can solve both of these problems. See, there are two problems. One, error. Kali galvanometer lagar, only galvanometer. Then there are two problems created. One, first of all, galvanometer cannot measure that much current. Second, galvanometer will have its own resistance, like to 30 ohm, 50 ohm, 40 ohm, whatever that is. And because of that, even if you can measure, there will definitely be some good yes. amount of error. Did you get that? So, big problem. The error problem is there, and I range is nothing. 0 to 2 microampere is measured for 2 So, I have 1 ampere, take the measure. Clear? So, both of the problems can be solved by connecting two times. Suppose this is where we have attached it in the circuit. We are just drawing a little bit larger so you all can see it here. And this is 10 volts. This whole thing together is the ammeter. What? This whole thing together is what is called M. This will function as an M. That is, it will measure current. How so? If current I flows over here, can I say anything? Did you understand what I am drawing here and here? Or not here? I wire here and draw here. But if current I is flowing, it will come here. At this junction, I will be divided, yes or no? Yes. Suppose Ig goes in galvanometer, Ig for current in galvanometer. Then remaining will go here, yes or no? How much is that remaining? I minus Ig. That will go through the shot and it will come back and merge here. Understood? Yes. Fine. Yes or no? Yes. So we want to measure how much is I. And in this kind of typical circuit, I can be up to M here. 1 ampere, 2 ampere, nominal current, it's not that big of value. You understand that? So, suppose you want to measure, let's say, 1 ampere. So, directly galvanometer lagard or nano lagard is the same. We measure it because this doesn't have that much range. And it will also get damaged to be very honest. Galvanometer, get over the current, how many points will jam? So, if you connect short in parallel, Everything, every problem gets solved. How so? This resistance is small and this resistance is not so small. So, most of current will flow through shunt. I repeat what I have said. Shunt is always a small resistance. So, this resistance X is very small. So, most of the current will pass through shunt. And very little current will pass through gear. Is that okay? Okay or not okay? 
Kim Yoga hai because Shanti has small resistance and Gendron meter has comparatively much larger resistance. Fine. Okay. So what happens next? So I minus IG is very big compared to IG. IG is very big small. So I think I want to be aware. Suppose Gendron meter current is let's say only 1 M. 1 micro amp. So this gallery meter, meter will move this much. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Right? What we can do is we can calibrate the instrument in such a way that we can see that if this is 1 microampere, how much is I? Equally measured very well. Then we can know that what is the relation between them. I repeat what I have said. If IG is 1 F, 1 microampere, then how much will be I? If we can find it, already factory money calibrated is away. When they make it, they will calibrate it. So what is that? What is the meaning of calibration? Every instrument needs to be set properly the first step. So what is it? Weighing scale away. So weighing scale is factory money banana and say so if I check for the actually does one kg show one kg or no. So like that they will check it send it. That if does 1 ampere actually show 1 ampere or not? If you have 1 micro ampere, you have some relation which will be there. How is that relation established? Let's go to that. Look at this circuit. G and S are the inputs. G and S are the inputs. So what is the same? Voltage. 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 G and S are in parallel. So what is the same? is voltage. So that's why I should have IG into G. G is also the resistance of gallery. G stands for resistance of gallery. So resistance into current. So that. Current into resistance. I into R. What is that? Voltage. voltage. This is voltage. Now voltage of short. I minus IG into S. What is it? Yes. Love to the D. Into the D. Is this clear? Yes. Current is short. How much is that? I minus I multiplied by S. Then voltage. So voltage here and voltage over there. Both are equal. And the voltage same and parallel. So based on this, if you are attaching a known value of S, while making this the short attached is one ohm, then you know the value of S and if you have already measured galvanometer resistance. So the recovery is that if this is one microampere, how much will be this current? Do you get what I am saying? If you already know the value of G and S. And how would you know the value of G and S? All these the manufacturer always know. What I mean to say is whosoever made this ammeter. Whosoever made this ammeter. So obviously they have made this ammeter. They would know what value of S they have attached. They would also know what is the resistance of gallery yeah. You understood that? Right? So by doing this kind of process, by attaching this chart over here, what we can do is we can convert this galvanometer into an ammeter. I repeat what I have said. Originally this was a galvanometer. Can you use it to measure current? Yes, but it's a very pathetic instrument. Why? Its range is only 2 microampere and it also has a resistance. It will give error. I'm a 1 ampere measure with the gallery. What is that? What is that? So it's not a very useful instrument in this case. So how to make it useful? Connect a shunt in parallel. It has lots of advantages. First, error will be reduced. Second, most of the current will pass through shunt and galvanometer will not have any trouble. So it's possible that even when this current is very large, for example like 1 ampere, then the current here is only 1 ampere. Why? Because where is remaining current going? Passing through L. So if we measure IG as 1 microampere, L denominator will measure it. But by using this formula, we can convert this value to the value of I. Make sense? Yes. Make sense or not? Right? So that's the whole idea. Or conversely, if someone says you make an ammeter that can do this by connecting a shunt. Suppose someone says you make an ammeter by connecting shunt. 
right? Then we can find how much salt is required. So S will be equal to I G into G upon I minus I G. Right? What this means or what this tells you is S is the required shunt to convert galvanometer to M meter. What is IG? Current in galvanometer. And I is current in circuit or main current, you would also write it. Current in circuit or main current. And G is galvanometer's resistance. Is the resistance of galvanometer. Small current galvanometer man here. Yes, man, what is that? Same thing. Small current galvanometer man here. In this place, yes, man, what is that? Here. Upon a story, what is that? Same as that. Sita. So your question is basically, how do we know that less current will pass through shunt and more through gap? That's very basic. Suppose two resistors are in bed. It's a general question and I am trying to arrive at the tenure level. Suppose this is 10 ohm and this is 1 ohm. And here we connect. Let's say a 10 volt pad. So 1 ohm will get a current pad. 10 ohm. And then 1 ohm. Can you get an answer to your question? Sure. Total current is 11 ohm. Yes or no? Total current is 11 ampere. But out of that, most of the current, that is, out of 11, 10 ampere will pass through 1 ohm. Clear or not? And only 1 ampere will pass through 10 ohm. That is, you can see 100 ohm. This is going to be 10 ampere. Now, this is going to be 0 0.1 ampere. Yes or not? Because most of the current will pass through the smaller resistance. Did you get that? So the same thing actually happens here. Compared to two galvanometer, the shunt is very small. Typical value is given. Galvanometer resistance 50 ohm, shunt resistance 1 ohm. Okay, so because of that, most of the current always passes through the shunt. Fine. One more thing that you might have a question. So what is it? After I use the way of ammeter, so the number can calculate what for it. What did I tell you? I told you that galvanometer can only measure IG actually. Do you realize that? Can I tell you how it works? Yes, it's correct. What do you mean? Galvanometer can only measure IG. It will not know how much is I. But we can calculate based on IG and this formula how much is I. So do you know the calculator or based on it? No. When galvanometer is converted into ammeter at the factory by the manufacturer, right? Who say word makes the M meter. What they do is they calibrate, like I said, okay. they will pass one ampere current. They will pass one ampere current and they will see how much current is passing through this. Okay, suppose one by one. So our needle is not going to be there, and one ampere mark. Did you understand? The process is not so simple, but it's basically like this. I repeat. They will pass one ampere current. They will know that this is one ampere current. It passed current. Then see what happens to the needle of galvanometer. Achha, yes, we have it. So they are marked on upon one ampere. Why? What does that mean? Because if you pass one ampere current, this galvanometer will always get deflection of one microampere. But when this is one microampere, suppose this is one ampere. We cover for it. Similarly, every other value will be marked out. So this is what is called calibration. This is what is called calibration. Just like you take a weighing scale. It's newly made. You want to check whether it is really working or not. So you know that suppose this mass is 1 kg, you will put it on it. So 1 kg, I will get no I will. I will put the word over. No, I will do it in a set for Did you get that? Right? So if you set it properly, it's fine. It's going to work. That's what they do at the factory when they make it. Understood? So we don't have to calculate this every time. 
this formula is just useful for making it. This formula is not useful when you want to use it. Use current by the alpha current. Khali dial ma jo jaan, acha 2 ampere. 0.2 ampere just like that. Did you get that? Okay. So my student was speedometer second. तो एम्मा तुम्हें सो दर वक्त ये कैलकुलेट करो सो के अटला रोटेशन पर मिनट वाइज ऑटली स्पीड आए ये वो जो अंदर सही जाए ना ये विदे पुला नंबर जगे आए ना ये अटला रोटेशन से तो नीड अंदर सही जाते हैं अजीब होता है पास में तो काम जाते हैं करेक्ट और नॉट तो यू डोंट हैव टू कैलकुलेट डेवलपमेंट Correct or not? Yes. Yeah, but you fast for it, only speed out here, sir. Make sense? Yes. Right? So, this is on the back side. You don't have to do it to use it. But you only have to use it when you want to convert it. Then you want to make it. You want to make it M meter from a yeah. M meter. Okay? Right. Now, based on this, let's follow a question. Open your text. Chapter 4, Exercise Chapter 4, Dharma Nadi Leo I draw a thing you do next That this whole thing is called M meter Last question, say. last the second last. Twenty-eight. Okay. A galvanometer coil has a resistance of fifteen amp or fifteen ohm. So what is given? G's value is given. How much? That is the galvanometer itself. The galvanometer itself has a resistance of 15. Understood? And the meter shows full scale deflection for current of 4 milliamps. Very simple. You have seen the speedometer in your scooter? Yes. Am I in liquid or in the other one? Do you realize that? That's called what? Full scale deflection. That's the maximum value it can measure. So our galvanometer must be given there. Suppose here is zero or anything. Then the maximum value it can measure is four milli ampere. But I am only just ampere. I am only one ampere. You understand what I am saying? There is a limit. A two dial is there. I am not going to need that. Understood? Sure? If you just make pin oil, I am hurt. Can I hurt? Have you seen that? Yes. Okay. Right, so this is the maximum. So how much is the value of Ig possible? Maximum value of Ig possible is? 4 milli ampere. Did you understand that? Yes or no? Absolutely sure? Or not sure? Micronet loop. Full scale. Full scale means maximum. I'm check with your teacher. That's the maximum current that galvanometer can measure. Meaning is clear. Anya 4 milliampere you are going to flow no hole because then you can't measure anything. Okay. Now, how will you convert this galvanometer into an ampere of range 0 to 6 ampere? So now we want to use this galvanometer, but we don't want to measure only 4 milliampere current. We want to measure currents of 2 6 ampere. You want to measure current of 2, 6 ampere. Did you get that? Okay. So, super important. Always to convert a galvanometer into an ammeter. What do we have to do? We have to connect a shunt. And shunt is always connected in? Parallel. Did you understand? We have to connect some shunt. But how much? That is what we will find using that one. So, S is equal to. Okay, I, I means main current here. We want to measure how much current? 6 ampere current, maximum current 6 ampere. In here 6 ampere, I mean, so in here 4 milliampere. Did you understand? In here 6 ampere, so in here 4 milliampere. Yes or no? 
आ मैक्सिमम तो आई मैक्सिमम क्लियर तो अबे तो दर आई इज़ इक्वल टू सिक्स एम पी अबे वैल्यू इसमें को एस इक्वल टू आई जी हम बच्चे आई जी फोर इन टेन रेंज टू माइनस सिक्स डॉट पर डेट इन टू जी व्हाट इज़ जी गैलरी मीटर रेंज टू हम बच्चे I minus I G. So six minus four two no got that. Six minus zero point zero zero four. Did you understand? Yes or no? Four milliampere is converted to what? An ampere. So this is going to be sixty into ten raised to minus three of one. Five point nine nine six. What the answer? Zero point zero one ohm. Is that my zero point zero one ohm? What are we doing? Did you know? Do you know? Do you know? One point zero one. One point zero is what? So one. Zero point zero one zero. Understood? Are you meaning to do? Yes. I'm zero zero. It is that using this galvanometer of four milliampere, if you want to measure a six ampere per. So what would you have to do? You have to connect a 0.01 ohm shunt in parallel. Okay, so if there is a zero ohm in another case, then it will be able to measure up to six ohms. Understood? One more question. Question to be answered. Can we calculate how much error is there in this measure? How much error is there? What was the actual current? Actual current was six ampere. Yes or no? Sure or not sure? But it's only one. So because of all this, the way now we start it. At the situation, okay, if this ampere, if this ampere is connected. Let me give you a nice example. If this ampere is connected like this, okay, आज ये ampere आपने बनाया हुआ है ना ये मेहनत करी ने, ये ऐसा कर दियो, then how much error would be there in the reading? Theoretical answer would be six ampere. Is that clear or not clear? Theoretical कौन है क्या? Without connecting instrument, M ने मत करो, calculate. By calculation, two ohm, twelve volt gives us. So theoretical answer is six ampere. Is that fine? This is by theory or calculate. Okay. And if we connect it here and we measure it, so get no current out. Current will not be six ampere. I hope you realize it. It will be a little bit less. How much is resistance of this ampere? Zero point zero one. How much is the resistance of this ampere? Can you find you? Ah, ampere is enough. What is the resistance of this ampere? Are we equal to that? Correct, isn't it? Can you understand me? What is the ampere again? This whole box, this whole thing is the ampere. So how much is the resistance of this ampere? S and G are in parallel. So equal to that. S G upon S plus G. Correct. How much is the resistance? Zero point zero zero point. Zero point zero zero nine nine. Sure. Nearly zero point zero one at the end. So zero point zero zero nine. Now calculate the same. So correct. Use one. Is it fine? Okay. Right. So now how much is the current after you connect this? Practically, how much would be the current after connecting this? How much would be the current? 
exact six may have is that fine fine or not can you know it's not exact six how much is it 5.97 so where of what 2.09 raise your hand if you understood that 12 upon 2.09 okay there you go two of that okay eight zero eight zero right so if we divide it then how much do we get 5.97 seven what did I three 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 yeah that Okay, so now can you calculate how much percentage error is this? How to calculate percentage error? This was actual value. Aapne measured value. What about that? Yes, to take any. First of all, we have to find absolute error. How much is that? Absolute error. Absolute error ke liye hai. Ama ne ama. Value ma. Zero point zero zero seven. Two seven. Reason and if you understood this, error to do yad karao. Kya hui kyu? Delta I minus ne delta I. Is it fine? Okay, so this delta. Abe percentage ne the main time. Del I is equal to delta I upon I into hundred. Is that okay? And accurate kya jaro? No calculate. Karo. Zero point zero two seven upon six into one hundred. Zero point four five. Zero point four five. Four five percent. Good instrument or bad instrument? One point half percent error in the outing. Wonderful instrument, isn't it? So it's very how it is converted. Ah, now let's see. So get a meter longer. This way, so. पहला तो मेजर है तो अन्य क्यों मैं अपना मेरी इंच बता रही तो तो इधर 15 ओम में तो फेयर नहीं बिग बैग आ तू ओम मजा तो नहीं यार 15 ओम तो आ तू हम जरूर 15 ओम ऑटोमेटिकली डेट मींस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट मोर देन 50 परसेंट एरर कहीं भी जो जवान ही है जरूर तो हम पढ़ेंगे कि नहीं राइट � आप पैदल में लगा दिए तो बे फायदा थे क्या मीन फोर मी मिली एमपीएल ना मतलब अब आपने सिक्स एमपीएल मेजर करी एंड द सेकंड थिंग इज इवन आफ्टर डूइंग दैट द एलर्ट इज अमेजिंगली स्मॉल व्हाट इट यू माइंड हैव अ बेस्ट नॉट टू नॉट टू रेजिस्टेंस क्या ही बनाओ क्यों बनी थी वो वेरिएबल Suppose you have only one ohm resistor. You have five pairs of malagat jar. One ohm, one ohm, one ohm, one ohm pairs. Where do they get? Zero point two. They get five ohm. No, that. What about that? Is that okay or not okay? So do you realize how even with a one ohm resistor you can make it smaller? That's all. Two by two, nine ohm. Are you okay? But the general idea is the same. You can connect such resistance in a parallel. तब ने ये वो ना तो जब पांच रेस्टर लगा रहा हूँ कि तू भी जगिया जो है, और वो कार में रेस्टर और तू का जो है, don't forget that it doesn't take at all space, right? It's very small thing. You can have very small resistors. तो आपको तब ने ये वो mostly in generally the questions will be about this. Easy हो गया तो आप वो direct question है आपसे but often I see that questions are about error. So, so suppose this is 50 ohm resistor. Don't expect easy numbers in the calculator you score with the four. I don't care. Answer how would you put up? And here is an ammeter whose resistance is let's say 2 ohm. Okay. And if this is a 10 volt bed, find the reading of amplitude. This is the first step. 
hence the meaning of m. Reading no meaning to that. What it measures? What does the ammeter measure? Okay. Yes. 
तो भाई बदु सॉल्व करो तो करंट 0.199 हो जाए बराबर है एक ना एक S N two are in parallel तो ये भी equivalent होता है S N two are in parallel ये भी equivalent होता है so if we draw new circuit what will the new circuit look like आउट तो है ना yes or no and here how much current should flow how much current should flow zero point one nine nine ampere तो हमें solve करना हो these two resistors are in series series and basically our ammeter no sum no rep think about it अब जो तो आओ आपने करी थी ना current fine current on voltage में आते
just have to find the error in measurement and percentage name, just the value. Okay, just the value of error. How many F your error is there in measurement? So we are making words here are okay guys. That an ammeter is made by taking a galvanometer of 50 ohm resistor and shunting it with a 2 ohm resistor. And what? And it is connected to measure current in the 12 ohm resistor. Find the error. 